Well, how do the people out there in the viewerverse? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, you guys out there in the viewerverse, now, you probably know what this is about already because you've seen the thumbnail and you clicked it because it enticed you to. Yes, so it's about the Starfield pre-release date. Now, I'm going to be jumping over and we're going to be taking a quick look at the original trailer that mentioned the actual release date. Now, a lot of people say, well, you know, once a, a release date is set in into ink and it's out there then it's done and dusted it's set well they went and stuck it in a blinking video originally people let's just remind ourselves of the original trailer for this shot people here we go let's just hit this one up and hit play Does look freaking awesome, doesn't it? Does look very lived. They say the wonder is not that the field of stars is so vast, but that we have measured it. You're part of constellation now, part of our family. What you found, it's the key to unlocking. This is all we've been working towards. Good. We've come to the beginning of humanity's final journey. Eleven eleven twenty two is said to be the release date, people, for Starfield out there inside of the view of us, but we know that slipped because yeah, that, that date has long since passed, wasn't it? Anyway, back to my cup of tea. Right. So people, you're probably thinking, well, you haven't told us anything new there, Captain Steve. No, I know, I know. I'm just sort of recapping, just putting it out there. This is it make more sense a little bit later on, people, in the viewer verse, because we're going to be tying that into something else in a moment. So if I just pop on back over to my reaction camera. There we go, reaction the camera. There we go. Boom. Lovely, lovely whim lamp playing in the background there. So when you look up the release date for Starfield, it says 2023. If you're looking forward to Starfield, then we've got some good news. It's coming out later this year, 2023. Bethesda detailed that Starfield will now launch first half of 2023. Now, this was four days ago that they said it would be the first half of 2023. Something a little odd, though, is if you go over to Steam, there is no way of pre-ordering this right now. And I've looked at Redfall as well, and Redfall, you can't pre-order that on Steam either, as of yet. Okay, so, talking of Redfall, Redfall was released. Officially, Redfall has a 2023 release window, Red Free, blah, 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 blah but it, it doesn't actually say whether it's going to be first half. So it kind of implies that Redfall could come well after. Um, Starfield, which is a little odd. But then we've also got here May as being the target release date, which is still the first half, isn't it? Reportedly targeting a May release date. So I don't, th I don't think I can ever remember another developer dropping two titles of such sort of standing within the same release window, not that close together. I mean, where does it benefit them? I suppose it lines them up for a lot of awards through the year, doesn't it? Having a, few, a fair few games drop. But to put them both on the shelf at the same time, I don't know. People would be making the choice between one and the other. Okay, right. So something that's, that's interesting is here is in the recent gameplay reveal, on one of the ships can be seen a string of numbers. Those numbers are a patent number for the Wright Brothers flying machine. Seriously? Okay. 
The date of that patent is March 23rd, 1903. Okay. This means that March 23, 2003 is 120 years to the day from the painting of the first flying machine. Plus it's also 32323, which seems like a very Todd Howard kind of date, if you ask me. It does raise a very valid point there. It does raise a valid, very, yeah. The rational part of my brain tells me it's more likely June. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right at the tail end of the um, half the, half the year. Yeah, I kind of kind of with you on that one. June or July? Yeah, uh, well, June is the sixth month, isn't it? Yeah, but the hopeful part of my brain is telling me that this could be pretty likely. Oh no, I I, I know that they love numerology and they like dates. It's like the first one was eleven eleven, wasn't it? You know, the eleventh of November. So yeah, I, I can I can see exactly where you're coming from. Totally see that. Let's see what other people are saying here. Okay, so here we go. This is actually the most plausible theory I've seen till date about the game's release date. The date is Todd Howard, kind, kind, and it's also kindness has a historical reference too, which goes pretty well with the theme of the game. And that's had 207 upvotes. So a lot of people are in agreement with this. And you know, it's... It, it's quite a well-liked sort of post as well, and I have to agree, it does seem to have some sort of merit to it. The only thing is, is if Redfall does drop in May, March, it, it's a couple of months, it's a couple of months before, isn't it? It, it? Hmm. Yeah, I suppose if Starfield does drop, Starfield is probably going to be the game that's more likely to have more bugs with it. I'm only saying that because it's more of an open universe with procedural elements, with a thousand odd planets and some you can land on. But it, that in itself, to me, says, yeah, there could be a little bit of patch fixing and a couple of patches, but could they get them all ironed out within two months before Redfall? I think they could. I think they could. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think on this, because... I honestly think that March is only around the corner as well, isn't it? Exciting if that is the case. But if this date does come and pass, the closer it gets to May, may push Redfall back a bit, in my opinion. So I, I kind of feel that these are kind of like domino games. If one gets delayed, it's going to delay the other in a roundabout way because I, I really don't... A two-month gap between them is, is reasonable, but anything else... It, not so much so yeah and r r scrolling down through the rest of these there's there's not many that have got the upvotes that the others have had but a lot of them do sort of make quite a fair few interesting points so here we go the 23rd the third of the 23rd blah, 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 date was admittedly on my mind without even thinking about the first flight simply because it definitely sounds like a tog howard date and is not a massive delay but enough of one to button up things yeah cool nice Yep, the Orville Brothers patent date could seem pretty awesome trailer going from that to some in-game uh, shots if spaceships in space. Fine, alright, there's a lot going on in here. You can read all this up. I'm going to put all these links inside of the video description so you can scroll through here. If you want to chime in and put your own comments in, then you can. But likewise, if, if you've got something to say, you can always say it on my video as well. So yeah, you can just put the comments in there. Let's make this text a little bit bigger. But yeah, there we are. I should have done that right at the start of the video. I've just glanced over at what I'm actually streaming right now. But yeah, all good. I imagine you'll be fine if you're on the TV, but on mobile devices, you might have struggled a little there with the old eye peepers. There we go, people. That's pretty much all I've got for you. So yeah, that's a cup of tea with Steve. And I've got one little bit left. I'm just going to have that. Well, that was freaking gold. Yeah, yeah. I left that too long, but that, there we go. There we go, people. So there you go. There's another morning with me, Captain of the Steves. And you know, before I sort of rest into work and get too sort of settled in in the mornings, I do like to have a cup of tea, get all set up, get comfortable in here, because this is my work area. I've got my work laptop in front of me. I've got my personal laptop to the right as well. So I've usually got something going on over there while I'm beavering away working. Yes, I quite like doing these formats. It gets everything that's in my head out to you guys in the viewer verse as well which i'm liking doing so i might carry on doing these especially since it's quiet in no man's sky beforehand before i start work i usually get a cup of tea and i get an hour's worth of footage for no man's sky that i can edit in my lunch break 
Well, because there's not much going on with No Man's Sky, I may as well just carry on doing these sort of things, looking at other games that interest me, or sharing things that are found on the Tinterwebs, or even movies, or TV shows, or whatever, and bring it to you in this little bite-sized cup of tea with Captain Steve in the mornings. So hopefully it's going to put a smile on your face, and I can do these almost daily. Yeah. So there we go, people. I hope you're enjoying these, and I'm, I'm going to make a playlist especially for these, so if you do miss one, and you've got a couple of tea breaks, you can watch a couple. <laughs> How cool is that? Anyway, until next time, goodbye, people. Cheerio.